Welcome to Gel Printing July. So today I really want to just play a little bit. I don't want to plan out uh, complicated compositions. Well, I usually don't <laughs> do that, but I don't want to plan. I don't want to think even of focal points or having to create something. I just want to play with uh, patterns and colors and textures. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now I have two um, gel plates here. I'm going to use this as a palette and this will be the gel plate that I'm going to create my uh, print on. So, and I'm just going to work with uh, my favorite colors. Now the only maybe complicated <laughs> factor is that I want to play a bit with, uh, with my colors by uh, adding and removing them uh, through a stencil. And you'll see how I will do that. But um, I don't want to combine everything, all my colors with one brayer. Uh, I want to keep them a little bit separated and you'll see how I do that. Um, so I have two brayers here and very narrow brayers because I am going to work in a quite small area each time. So I have this one, this is a little bit bigger and this is the smallest one that I have. And I have some uh, scrap paper here to the side where I can roll off my brayer. Okay, now I am going to, let's see, how am I going to do this? Yeah, I have some stencils here also. Uh, I've made those stencils myself. If you are following this series, you have seen me use them. Well, I'm not sure if I used this one, but this one I did. So I have those. And I'm just going to freestyle and play. Um, so I'm going to add a few colors. This is a color that I mixed. And I will list the paints that I use uh, in the description box and I'm going to use a little bit of this paint there's also some paint that I mixed nothing fancy I just like it to have my own colors and I want to use a little bit of my favorite matte acrylic paint And I think I'm going to add a little bit of white here as well, just for some contrast. Now, I also have some uh, uh, yellow kind of paint and I want to spread that out here. And let's use this one as well. So I use my small brayer now here to spread this out so that I have this ready. Roll it off to the side and then some more here. Okay, so now I'm just going to play a little bit. Okay, now let's just have a little bit of fun. I'm removing paint and now I'm going to add some paint. And let's also try my other stencil here. And I'm working fairly quickly because this paint is going to dry. <laughs> and I do think I would like to have a little bit of blue as well, but I should have thought of that <laughs> sooner. Maybe I can do that uh, when I have a bit more space here on my uh, gel plate. Let's see, 
maybe I will get the other one again. Uh, let's do it like this. I still want a little bit of that blue, so I'm just going for it. Okay, so I'm going to remove a little bit paint. And with this one, I can now also use my bigger one because there's no yellow on there. So <laughs> it is looking quite nice, right? I don't know how this will turn out in the end. Ooh trying not to confuse my brayers now <laughs> but yeah as I said I just want to do a little bit of playing here just a bit of freestyle having fun nothing complicated if I'm still removing a bit of that paint or if it has dried. Let's see if I can just go a little bit through this harder line. So from this side it looks really interesting. I don't know if it will all show through. Well, <laughs> it does look very interesting from this side as well. So I'm happy with this. So uh, I'm going to let this dry and then uh, I will prep everything, clean up everything here in the meantime and then uh, I will uh, prep everything so I can transfer this to my paper. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then uh, we can pull the print together. Okay, so let's have a look. Wow, this is really interesting. I love all those colors. Uh, yeah, well, I said I wanted to do some freestyle uh, gel printing. Well, I guess uh, I succeeded in that. <laughs> yeah, I really love the color combination and everything that is going on and uh, yeah, how, how the colors are sometimes inside those openings and sometimes part of the stencil and so on. So uh, yeah, this is definitely something that uh, I think I would love to do more uh, in this challenge as well, because uh, <laughs> it's looking really cool. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and making this uh, freestyle gel print today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about uh, gel printing, check out my uh, gel print fundamentals uh, series that I made for my patrons. I will link it in the description. And then 
I'll see you back tomorrow for a new gel printing July video. Thank you.